Get of to the everything. Point. Get to everything. the point. <laughs> so Adidas have, instead of using leather for the upper part of their shoes, yeah. they have begun growing and using mushrooms. A specific mushroom, in fact, called the myceliumis. Now, what does that remind you of? Mycelium. Metamucil? No. Try again. Helium? No. What did we watch on Netflix where they have mycelium? I don't, Fish. No. I, don't know. I was asleep. Mm, Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek. Remember? And they were learning how to jump and they're using the mycelium fungi. Anyway. So Adidas are growing these mushrooms to use as a material to make the upper parts of sneakers. Oh, nice. And... So they use the underground root structure of the myceliumus, whatever it's called. And it's versatile. It looks like leather, feels like leather, but it's completely natural. There's no plastics at all needed to make them. Takes quite a lot of space to grow it, but guess what? It only takes two weeks to grow. Oh. Doesn't need any light yeah. to grow. Yeah, because so- mushrooms grow in the dark. Well, not all of them, but yeah. They're, they're shy. They're, no, they're fungi. They have to yeah, grow no, in the... No, not all of them. What about the mushrooms that grow in the gardens oh. and the forests and stuff? They typically grow under like under other things. Yeah. So they don't get the light. Like other root of trees and stuff. They're fungi. What about the ones that grow in our front garden? Do they grow higher than the grass? Yes. Like a lot higher than the grass? Yeah. What are you? Are you sure? Yes. Fungi, yeah, fungi, fungi don't. I don't believe they use sunlight to grow. That's why they're not green as well, because they don't like photosynthesize and stuff. I don't know if they use sunlight to grow, but they can grow in light. Yeah, but it's not a requirement for them to grow. Ah, uh, okay. No, no, I don't think it's a requirement necessarily. This is such a side tangent. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> So I've got a question with this. Yeah. More about animals to plants and our perception of these things. Do you think in the future there'll be a point where newer generations start saying can't kill plants? What did you say? At the say? moment, like at the moment, you it's know, crossed my we mind. Farm, we farm animals. Yeah. For different reasons. One of them being leather. They use the leather off of cows, for example. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, we plant-based alternative. No harm. Do you think... But if you think historically that wasn't... A, like, no one cared. It's only as we've become the society we are today and now we look at that in that way. Do you think in the future, a uh, future society will look at plants in the same way that we look at animals now? So you can't just yeah, grow plants to, to kill them, to use them Delicious. for Oh, man. I mean, possibly. Hope I'm not there for that. Well, we, it's kind of sad because... <laughs> oh, I really hopefully hope I'm... No. It is kind of sad be- when we found out that the plants can squeal and, and, and they feel pain and they can make noise. What? Yeah. Like, remember? Yeah, they, is, they, I've known they, since I did GCSE. We talked about it on the podcast. Yeah, I know. I was just... If they if they like need water and they or they whatever or they've been cut or injured, yeah. they can squeal. We just can't hear it. Yeah, their their frequency is too high or low, or they're off their spectrum. That's wild. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to be there for that. I don't want to be there for the. Please don't hurt the plants. I don't want to. Why? I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that rubbish. <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's rubbish. We've got to do something. We like, come on, guys. We're we're gonna hurt someone. I mean, we min- minimum we minimize our impact on the world, but something we've got to do something. It's gonna turn to cannibalism. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then we're gonna hit a human being squeal as we cut them up and eat them. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I don't know. So that's added us. Whether or not I don't know how big this will be. <laughs> Whether they'll That's interesting. I like yeah. I like it's, um instead of what do they still use animals to do their sneakers before this? 
I would have assumed so because it or, would have been leather. Is it mostly plastic though? It's not all leather now, is it? Like all the Adidas stuff and that. Isn't it mostly plastic? No, it's not. I think, they're, I I think they're, they're like standard, you know, like they're, they're iconic sneakers. I think, I think leather, right? yeah, it said in the article though that Adidas are looking to get rid of all that. They're trying to be carbon neutral by 2050, by 2030. I don't know if it was I don't know if it was Nike or Adidas, but they said they had a, a reusable shoe. They have plastic. Yeah, I, th- I think they're all reusable because you can put them on multiple times. <sighs> I well, mean this, the material. Well, these know. ones can be given back to the earth, I guess, because they just so biodegrade after I don't know how long. I would to throw another wrinkle in whether this is good or not, and this is that trade-off situation, isn't it? Where how much space of mushroom growth do you need to get the equivalent amount of leather that they use for one cow? Oh, and wow. do they have to do things like deforest in order to get enough space to grow enough leather? To- <laughs> oh, no. Well, it, uh, mm, yeah, it's hard, <laughs> oh. isn't it? Well, I'm, Alex, I'm, being, well, Alex I'm being Bander, he just killed the mood. Yeah. He just killed the mood there. Yeah, look, Adidas uses ocean plastics for the upper, uh, oh. upper form of their parts of their shoes. And clothing, like jerseys. That's pretty cool. So they could just go to the Great Ocean Garbage Patch and collect heaps of plastic and just use that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, nice. 